Hey guys, welcome back to the Bobby Brown Baseball Channel. So in this video, what I hope to help you everyone out with is choosing the right bat for your kid. So I get the question all the time, what size bat should I get for my kid? And this is not necessarily the easiest answer to give. There's a lot of different factors that go into deciding what's the right bat for my kid. And the answer is not necessarily as easy as you just going over to your local sporting goods store, looking at the sea of bats that are on the wall and letting your kid just pick out the coolest one that he sees. And it's frustrating, right? Bats that are too small. You got training bats. You get bats that are too big. And then you get that perfect bat, but that perfect bat costs $300. So I've done a lot of research myself and over my time as a coach, I have learned that there's a correlation between the age of the player and the length of the bat. There's generally a average length that there is for the age of a player, but obviously that's gonna vary for the height of the kid. My first tip for you parents out there is that on every bat you'll find, you will see a indicator of height and weight. Height is indicated by inches and weight is indicated by ounces. The next thing you're gonna see on every bat is a minus symbol and on it, a number right next to the minus symbol. People call it a drop sign. So it's gonna be a drop 13 on this bat specifically. And what that means is, is that this bat is 26 inches. And if you subtract that by 13, you're gonna get the ounces, which in this case is 13. So the higher the drop number, the lighter the bat is. So it's very common for young players to have the same bat for at least two years before they transition up a few ounces or up a few inches. As you get older, as players get older, you definitely should be going up at least a couple ounces on your bat because there's a pretty much a set standard at a certain level, you're gonna need to have a certain ounce bat. And what I mean by that is, is that once you get to the high school level and above, you're required to have at least a drop three or minus three size bat. So backing up to when kids are younger, you got all sorts of different drop sizes. You got drop 13, drop 12, usually goes down to a drop 10, then it goes to drop eight, to a drop five, all the way down to the drop three after that. So there's a transition that occurs that everyone needs to know. All right, so I have a couple different tips for you parents out there that are trying to choose the correct weighted bat for your kid. So again, this is in ounces. So when I'm having a kid first try out a bat, I usually will have them stick out their bat like this straight out. And if they can hold this for at least 10 seconds, no problem is that at all. Maybe there's a little bit of shaking and that's about the perfect weighted bat for the kid. But what I see oftentimes is that the bat's too heavy and you'll see the bat shaking and the bat's dropping down or you'll see a kid just holding it there and it's just easy and there's no problem at all, no shaking, that might indicate that it's a little bit too light for the kid. The next indication that a bat might be too heavy for the player is that when they actually take a swing, their bat drops very severely when they're hitting the ball. So if their bat drops, it's probably because the bat is too heavy. And just so we know, a player dropping their bat might not necessarily be an indication that the bat is too heavy, it might actually just indicate that they have some mechanical swing flaws and then they've just practiced doing this for so long that it's just like second nature for them. So again, try that technique where they're holding it straight out. That might be your best bet. All right, so you might've found the correct weighted bat, but now you need to find the correct length bat. Again, that's indicated on inches on every single bat. So what I have most of my players do when trying to find the correct inches is that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the knob of the bat right here at the center of the chest and then I'm gonna have their arm go straight out. And if the bat is really close to their fingertips or at their fingertips, it's usually the right length for them. But if that arm is too long right here, it might indicate that that bat is too short. So again, you wanna have it right there at the fingertips to indicate that that is the correct length bat. All right, so let's say that you accidentally chose the wrong length bat for your kid. It happens to us, right? But an indication that the bat might be too long for your kid is that you're gonna see a lot of foul balls being hit. The reason for this is that because you got a little bit too long a bat, it takes a little bit longer for that bat to get through the zone. For the kid, he's gonna be a little bit later when he's hitting and you're gonna see a lot of balls fouled off. All right, so after doing all my research, I am now gonna have up on my screen right here, 
my recommendations for the correct size length bath based off the age of your kid. So again, this is about the average size length bath per age of the kid right here. So I hope this helps you parents out a lot. Please make sure you guys are choosing the correct size weighted bat and the correct size length bat for your kid. Try out the bat if you're allowed to and go online and try to find the correct price bat for your kid. It doesn't necessarily have to be a $300 bat that looks really cool. You can get last year's model for much cheaper or even a couple year old model for even cheaper. So I hope you parents out there found that this video was helpful and it had some good tips for you in choosing the correct size bat. If you like some other tips for myself, I actually wrote a book called Overcoming the Bench. Right, that's it for today. Thank you guys again for watching the video. And remember, if I can overcome the bench, so can you.